All right, hey everybody, it's Evan from devasun.com. And in this video, we're gonna go over how users can log into their accounts using AWS Cognito. All right, so if you haven't seen the first video where we show you how to set up your AWS Cognito user pool, I suggest you go watch that first. By the way, all the code that you're gonna see here today, I'll have on a GitHub repository, and I'll have a link to that in the description down below. If you need any help, feel free to leave a comment, or you can join the Devasun Discord server, and I'm sure someone will be able to help you out there. Anyway, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our signup.js and I'm going to copy everything that we have here and I'm gonna go create a new component and I'm gonna call this login.js. And we're gonna go ahead and paste everything that we copied from signup.js and change this function to login and export default login. And we're also gonna delete the signup function here because we're not gonna be using that to login. Now we're gonna to wanna to import two things from the Amazon Cognito Identity JS package that we installed in the last episode. And the two things that we imported here were is Cognito user and authentication details. Again, if you don't have this package, I'm gonna have a link in the description to install it. Now in our on submit function, I'm gonna go ahead and create our new user like so. Now this is gonna accept one argument, which is an object. And that object is gonna have two keys. First key is gonna be username with a capital U, make sure it's capitalized. And our second key is gonna be pool with a capital P. Double check that the capitalization here is correct. All right, now next we're gonna create our authentication details. Now authentication details is gonna accept an object with two keys. First key is gonna be username with a capital U. And our second key is gonna be password with a capital P. And now the next step is to authenticate our user using the username and password that our users input. So here we're taking our user and we are calling authenticate user and we're passing in our authentication details. And the second argument, we're actually gonna be passing in an object. Now the first parameter in our object here is gonna be on success, like so. And then our second parameter is gonna be on failure where we console log the error. And then our final parameter is going to be new password required and we'll console log that here as well. Now I'm just gonna go down to our sign up button here and I'm gonna change this to say login. All right, now that we have this, I'm gonna actually go back to our app.js file and I'm gonna go ahead and import our login and then add it to our JSX. Now, real quick, before we actually go to our website, I'm just gonna change this from console log to console.error, just so it very clearly shows up as red in our console to indicate something went wrong. All right, now, if we go ahead and try to log into our account that we created in our last video, we're gonna see in console an error on failure, and we're gonna see that we're gonna get a user not confirmed exception. User is not confirmed. Now, I actually don't have access to this email, so I can't go to the email and confirm. However, in the AWS Cognito dashboard, we can do that manually with just a press of a button. So let's go to our Cognito user pools. I'm gonna click on the tutorial user pool that we created. I'm gonna to go to users and groups. I'm gonna click on our user here. And one thing before I do that, notice the account status here it says unconfirmed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on confirm user up at the top here. And now if we go back to our users and groups, we're gonna see account status now it says confirmed. Now if I go ahead and try to log in again, we're gonna see on success. And just one thing to notice here, you're going to see three different tokens. We have the access token, ID token, and refresh token. It's not really necessary to know what these are to use Amazon Cognito. However, in the future, I will be going over these. Now, just to give you an example, if I were to enter an incorrect username password combination, we're going to see an on failure and a not authorized exception, incorrect username or password. So Cognito handles all of this for us. So this is pretty much how you handle authenticating users using AWS Cognito. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Or you could join the Devasun Discord server, and I'm sure someone will be able to help you out there. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.